Okay, I'm going to take you through this uh, student paced version of a Pear Deck, and this goes through some engagement strategies. And so I always have it start with this just general check in screen. Okay, and then here's one of the student check ins that we often do, and I'm going to choose, um, you know, tired, which is true, and but I'm feeling pretty happy, I'm feeling pretty good aside from that. Okay, so here are some <clears throat> check ins ways that we check in with students, okay? Um, if you click here, um, it is going to take you to a video um, that goes through a lot of these engagement strategies. So how do you start class and get students engaged in what they're doing? So some suggestions. Okay, so here is a, a weekly grade form. Here's examples of some data that we've gathered from um, weekly grade, grade forms. Um, it doesn't have to be a grade form, just a feedback. So um, you may have used another way to gather student feedback. If you click here, here is a, um, a sample um, weekly check-in and the types of questions that we ask. Um, we are asking them to reflect on their grade, but it is definitely more than that. And here is a link that it shows you, um, uh, explains how we use um, a, a late work form okay, to uh, kind of manage missing work from students so that we're not hunting around um, in Schoology. Okay, so that's some useful information for us. Asynchronous discussion. So if you have another idea of a question, absolutely you can type it here. But here are some examples. We use a, an asynchronous discussion um, as kind of a check-in. And sometimes it's a real low-key, just general question, but it, for the most part, allows us to get the, to know the students a little bit better, especially in this virtual environment. And here's a video showing how to set it up. All right, we provide tools for students who are absent, who need more repetition, or have technical difficulties. I think that's important to be cognizant of, that um, we are not um, all starting from the same point in a virtual environment. So if you click here is a video to show you how I set up my Schoology page. And if you click on each of these, it's gonna take you to an example. We include a video, we include a PDF of the notes and a Quizlet set based on the notes so that students can practice and reinforce the material in a way that seems appropriate for them and as many times as they need. We incorporate lots of practice and we started using assessments in Schoology, the blue puzzle piece, um, to create kind of a five to 10 question self-grading review of recent content. Students can take it up to three times. So it focuses on mastery and um, really ties into the objectives for the unit. Okay, so if you need help with assessments, if you have not started using them, they're fantastic. But here's a whole entire playlist that's gonna take you through um, each question type and lots of information about assessments. Another thing that we've started doing is using um, badges to give rewards, okay? And um, if you give us your input, how do you use badges? Do you use them? Do you have any idea? Um, and we've been using it to check notes and then students who are in fact doing the notes can earn these homework passes and we just use a version of them based on our last name. And students can find their badges in their profile and um, it's just a, a quick way uh, really to offer some rewards and incentives for students um, to, in this case, do the notes, but it could be for anything, turn their camera on, be to class on time, whatever you wanna create badges for, you can build your own. Um, we give students easy access to help, to routines and procedures. So I have a clickable banner um, in Schoology for my course, okay? And so when students um, click on this banner, they can go to anything that they see here, okay? Which um, just enables them to have a lot of control over the information that they're able to access. Um, if you don't know how to create a banner, this video right here, if you click, is going to take you um, to show you how to do this. This is where the late work form is. This is what we stress with students all the time. 
and um, it really enables them to have control um, over us checking their work when they uh, turn in late work or resubmit it. Okay. All of this helps to build relationships. Students are much more likely to engage if you've spent the time to build relationships. Okay, so here is another strategy we use. We're going to talk about it later, but um, Mentimeter. So you can enter um, one word, enter more than one word, okay, multiple responses, okay, um, and then um, you, we will usually share the, um, the screen. Okay, and so here are just the two words that I entered. Okay, um, however, in a situation where we're a class full of people, we're going to build this fantastic word cloud showing um, how people are feeling. Or whatever question you're assessing, what do you know about this? Okay, what do you like about this? Now, how do we actually engage them during the lesson? Okay, play pause it. So play pause it is very similar to add puzzle. So if you've used add puzzle before, then you have an idea of what play pause it is about. Although play pause it has many more question options. The plus and why we have switched to using play pause it is that it really syncs seamlessly with the Schoology gradebook. And especially if you're choosing question types that are self grading, you have no extra work beyond the setup. Okay. So you set it up, you um, use it as an external tool, and then you um, attach the correct video to the assignment, and then that's it. And you never have to go back. Um, well, I mean, unless you want to just check and make sure. Um, here, if you click, this is uh, going to show you a play posit sample. So if you want to see what it looks like for a student, okay, you can see that. And here is um, a YouTube playlist all about play posit and getting set up. Pear Deck. Pear Deck is what we're using right now. So you can see um, as we've built it through this lesson, you are allowed to get some, some quick feedback, okay? And just to sense uh, how students are doing. Are they getting it? Are they understanding it? And um, it allows you to focus on what you might need to be reteaching, okay? So we're in a sample Pear Deck right now. Um, and here's a video that will show from the teacher perspective. All right, class kick. Um, if you want to practice with a sample class kick, just to see what we're talking about, um, you can click here. And here is a YouTube playlist that I've built that's all about class kick. Basically, it allows you to see all the students work at the same time. It's fantastic, okay? You can leave feedback. Um, students can help each other. And the free version allows you to have 20 assignments, and you can assign it to more than one class. Um, and you can delete if you want to keep at around that 20 point, um, those 20 assignment marks. So class kick, outstanding. Um, all right, so Blukit. Okay, so this is probably my favorite tool for review. So you can get a Blukit sample here. Um, there are lots of options. Now, sometimes when you're doing Pear Deck, so which is why this kind of happened here, um, you see at the bottom, there's this link. If you click here, it's going to open it in a new tab. Okay, so sometimes a link is not going to open straight in the Pear Deck, uh, but do not worry. If you click at the bottom, it will open it. Okay, um, what is Blukit like? Kahoot, Quizzes, Quizlet Live, uh, Jimkit, Gimkit, however you want to say it. Um, however, I think it has features of all of them. It's really, uh, to me, the most versatile and it's free. Um, there is a paid version, but um, you can easily pull in Quizlet sets um, in the free version. Um, you can host, set up homework, all within the free version. Okay, so if you click here, it's going to take you to um, a sample um, blue kit that I've built, which you can just enter your name. Okay, um, and here are some help videos to show you how to get started. All right, Mentimeter, again, here is um, a Mentimeter um, to go through, uh, and um, it here, if you click here, here's a sample, which is going to take you through um, a student um, paste version. You see how I can click next here, okay, and then go next here. The reason I can't do that here is this is set to be teacher paste, so there's the difference. 
between setting it student paced right here and setting it teacher paced. So um, just like most things, you can assign it to students and have them move through it on their own. You can absolutely do it with Mentimeter. That's what we used to build the word cloud um, earlier, okay? And um, in the Mentimeter, okay, um, there was, uh, we asked for some feedback and it would be on this last page. So, oops. so if I just show you, um, go to the end right here. Um, and do you have any other ideas, feedback? That's what would be shown here because we would have moved through the presentation together. Okay, so that was a lot. I know it was a lot. So um, here you can see my email and my YouTube channel for reference. Um, there's also going to be a self-paced version of this um, Pear Deck, which is essentially what I'm running through right now. Um, and this video is going to be linked here. Um, and here's just another tool that you can see is available in Pear Deck. So you can share any feedback and you can draw anywhere on the slide using the colors, but you can also use highlighter lines, text and eraser. So it gives you a lot of options um, for um, completing it. And you can see at the bottom, we are at the end, we are at 20 out of 20. And there you have it. There's an overview of a lot of strategies available for student engagement.